Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to explain a new lesson landforms from the 6th class social studies textbook landforms. In this lesson we will explore landforms such as mountains, plateaus and plains. And also we will discuss about delta and some more other topics. Now let us see about the landforms. There are three main kinds of landforms are there. They are mountains. Plateaus and plains. So, these are the three main kinds of landforms. Now, let us learn about each form of landform on the earth's surface. First of all, let's see about the mountains. So, these are the mountains. Mountains are very highlands. So these are the very highlands and they have steep slopes. These we call the as a steep slopes. Uh, these are formed by natural forces like earthquakes, volcanic activities and the movement of the earth. So the important mountain ranges in our country are Himalayan mountains, and Aravalli mountains, Bindya, Bindya mountain ranges and Satpura mountain ranges and so on. So these are the important mountain ranges in our country. Once look at this image, these are called hills. These are hills. If we compare these hills with the mountains, these are also highlands but not as high as mountains these have gentle slopes you can observe here these are not as high as mountains these are these are having gentle slope these have gentle slope let's see the important hill ranges in our state telangana state so satmala ranges are located in the adilabad and nirmal state nirmal district balaghat ranges are in the mahabubnagar and agarkallu district anantagiri hills are located in the vikarabad district Karnikal hills are in Peddapalli and Jayashankar district. Raki hills are located in the Jagityal district. So, these are some important hill ranges in our Telangana state. So, same thing we will, we will see in the map of Telangana. So, Satmala hill ranges and Nirmal hill ranges are located in the Adilabad district. We have discussed and here Raki hills are located in the Jagityal district, sorry. See, Anantagiri hills and Devarakonda hills, Raki hills, Nirmal hills, Satmala hills and the Kandikal hills. So, this is the map showing uh, some important hill ranges in our Telangana state. Now, let's go for the next land from Plateaus. These are Plateaus. These are also highlands but these don't have steep slopes these have most flat lands with hills in between them in our india the region with a steep slope on the western side of the deccan plateau is called the western ghats so this region is known as telangana plateau because most of area in telangana is located in the deccan plateau This is a Deccan Plateau. Uh, Telangana Plateau is slope, slope to the east side. Look at this image of south side of India. And here we can see three colors. When you observe these colors on the map, this is the green color. It represents the plains. And this is the yellow color. This represents the plateau. And this is the red color. It represents hills and mountains. So, Whatever here we can see the yellow color, it is called as plateaus. Now, let us see the other land from plains. Plains. The plains are level lands. It means nothing but flat and low lands. These are not very high lands like mountains and plateaus. Uh, these are formed by deposition of silt by the great rivers. Now, let us see in detail about the plains. So, 
the planes in our India are divided into two types. They are Indo-Gangetic planes and coastal planes. Again, the coastal planes are divided into two types. They are Eastern coastal planes and Western coastal planes. Uh, let us see about the Indo-Gangetic planes. So this is the image of an Indo-Gangetic planes. The Indus and its tributaries formed the plain of Punjab. The river Ganga flows through the states of Uttar Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and West Bengal. The Indus plain and the Gangetic plains combine to form the Indo-Gangetic plains. Here we will discuss about the coastal plains. Let us start with the eastern coastal plains. Eastern coastal plains, these are located along the east coast of India, lies between the eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal. And here the western coastal plains, these are located along the western coast of India, lies between the western Ghats and the Arabian Sea. Most of the states like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal fall under the eastern coastal plains. Here most of the states like Karnataka, Goa and Kerala fall under the western coastal plains. If we see the states, here we can see the image of states surrounding the Telangana. Here. We can see north side, the state Maharashtra is located and in the northeast side, we can see Chhattisgarh and southeast side, we can see the Andhra Pradesh state and here the west side, we can see the Karnataka. So these are the states surrounding the Telangana. If we see the physical features of Telangana, there is upper Telangana plateau in the west and the rest of the region is called the lower Telangana plateau. Uh, Godavari and Krishna rivers flow towards the east in the upper Telangana plateau here. And Hyderabad, Sikindrabad, Sangareddy and Nalgonda towns fall under the upper Telangana plateau. Varangal, Karimnagar towns fall under the lower Telangana plateau. Here we will discuss about the delta. A delta is a triangle shaped area of land formed at the mouth of a river where the river meets the sea. This delta is composed of alluvial soil. The two main rivers in our Telangana is the river Godavari and the river Krishna flow from the western Ghats and finally flow towards the Bay of Bengal. Uh, this river Godavari enters our state in Basra in Nirmal district. This river joined by many small rivers of the Telangana plateau and finally flow into the Bay of Bengal, forming a large delta.